In the previous video, we showed how you can take your images and using a web browser and Google Docs, you can create a PDF. And that's the format that we need for our test submissions. So now let's look at using our cell phones. So going to Google Docs, you should be able to access this on any iOS or Android device. So I could get my images here. Now, before I do that, I want to make sure that the, the view is going to work out right for me here. So I'm going to click on these three dots up here. I'm going to click print layout. So things should look more like a document so that you have the page breaks. And if I don't do that, it's going to look like just one web, like, like, a, like a long web page when I start adding these things. And that might cause some difficulties for us. I need to insert my images. So I'm going to click plus, select image, and I can either do from photos or I can do it from the camera. Now, I've already taken the pictures, but if you haven't, you can click from, from camera. It's going to open up your camera app and you're going to take your pictures using that. So I'm going to go from photos. This was the first picture that I need. Oh, and I see that it is oriented the wrong way. If I tap the image, I've got the handles here for resizing the picture. I also have the blue dot and that's going to be for rotating. So grab this guy and rotate until it says 90 degrees. And there we go. We've got good uh, orientation of the page. But we see we have all this white space around here. I don't like that. So let's grab this corner here and let's expand it to start filling up that page. It makes it look a lot better. And let's click out of this image. Now, you want to make sure that you hit the return key. Okay, so you're going to be that way, huh? Hit the return key so that you can actually get to a new page. And then we're going to do the same thing. So plus, add an image from camera. Nope, it says that from camera. Look what I did. I don't want from camera. That's, that's, that's not going to be it at all. From photos. Some receiving like a horrible glare from, from my perspective. Uh, okay, so there's another image. You see the cursor is blinking here on the right side. Let's hit return. And let's do that again. Add image from photos, not camera. We're going to learn our lesson. And so now I have these three pictures for the, for this sample, for this test, right? I'm going to go ahead and click the check box up here to save it. Uh, it says untitled document. So let's go ahead and rename that. So I'm going to rename this as great student. Hopefully my fingers are hitting the right buttons. And this is test number one and click OK. So it's now saved in my Google Docs as it's got my name. It's got the test. But now I need to have it as a PDF. So there are a couple of ways of doing this. And I think the best way, come back up here to the three dots. You want to go to share and export. And let's send a copy. So when I click send a copy, I can select what kind of format I want. So I can do PDF, click OK. And that's going to ask you, how do you want to share this? Using messages, using Gmail. So use Gmail or email or whatever other, other whatever other things you have here. Um, that way you've got that, um, got the file, send it, send it to yourself. Or you can go back to the three dots, go back to share and export and save as, and now click PDF. So instead of sending it, you can save it as a PDF. And let's make sure that things do look right. So it's going to process this. It's going to turn it into a PDF and we can scroll through here and see it's page one, two, and three. I can verify that things are in the right order. And so it is now saved as a PDF and I could click the download right there so I can download it onto my device. So once you've done that, you just need to go through the file explorer on your device, find that document, and you can send it as an attachment. You can upload it. I do whatever you want to with it. Now, if when you're looking at this PDF, you realize, oh gosh, I made a mistake. Back out of this, come back here to this document and rearrange the pictures as you need to. And then go back and save it, resend it, um, resave it as a PDF, and everything's going to be fine.